it's Ifter, and I'm back with more Get Even. Oh, and we have a message. Black, where are you? You promised to help me. Twenty June 2015. You know, one unknown number. Okay. Uh, last time, we made some poor decisions with the Puppet Master. Jesus, man. Get your hands off. Only for any of this. Shut up! Move! And then we decided to go into another flashback after making our poor decisions about releasing Puppet Master prisoners. More or less me just pushing buttons to see what they did. That's really about it. Wait. I know this place. This is where the explosion happened. Ah, yes. Your mind is preoccupied with the explosion, Mr. Black. The Pandora can only process what your brain offers. Concentrate only on the memory at hand. I am trying. Then try harder. No worries, Chief. Glad to be aboard. Not a hair on her head. Trust me. You brought me here. Fuck you. What? Red? Hey, Red! What the hell is this? None of this makes any sense! You are here because you have formed a mental link between this man and the explosion. The Pandora is trying to decode the message your mind is sending. Focus. Whoa. It is your fault. Okay. That's it. The Pandora unit is offering you a pathway deeper into your memory. Pursue this. Focus and proceed. Whoa. Okay. Remember, Mr. Black, human memory is unreliable at the best of times. I need you to work with my technology, not against it. Take in your surroundings and get as much information as you can. Uh, we're in a crime scene. Also, I'm not following a blood trail or anything. I'm um, following footsteps and a blood trail. No, nope, just footsteps. That's always cool. Should delete it. Oh no. Police crime scene detected. Multiple homicide. Attending officers Fair and Chadwick. What are we looking at? Multiple homicide. No IDs. I will warn you though, Chief. Fucking stinks in there. Well then it's a good job I skip breakfast. Come on. What the hell happened here? Drug deal. I don't know, Chief. Have you seen the weapons they were carrying? This looks high end. Yeah, right. International drug deal. <laughs> Guy got his head blown off. Oh. Mercenaries all just disappeared. Right. Identification unconfirmed. Oh, look at that. His entire face. There goes any dental match. Shot off his hands too. 
It's just a fingerprint, sir, boss. Professional job. Shit, this many stiffs and no ID. We can link this to a hundred cases. So, uh, drug dealer is then. What do you reckon? Adam's family or one of my turners, lot? Uh, well, don't worry. Decide later. Get the uniforms to bag it all. I'm getting a little pettish. There's that new calf opened up next to the neck. You fancy it? Red, what is this? You are trying to process too much, Mr. Black. The Pandora cannot keep up. Concentrate only on the man you came here to find. There, Mr. Black, right there. Use your scanner. Identify and consolidate your memory. Who is that man? The Pandora will do the rest. Identification confirmed. Jasper Prado. Status deceased. There's me thinking we could sort this out, my guys. <laughs> if you want to do it, then at least look me in the fucking eye! Sir, we have a name then. Jasper Prado. Boy, here's the keys, you'll drive it. Oh, come on, shit. Why have I always got to drive? Rank, son, rank. What now? How do I know this? You don't. The Pandora is cross-referencing your memory with any police files, files in the database. This memory is breaking down. You must move on. Okay. Blood test analysis came this morning. And the victim's DNA matched the DNA we found on the blast site. Chadwick claims that same location was previously used by local junkies. So Prado, as a drug addict and the dealer, wasn't necessarily involved in the kidnapping. Shooting victim identified. Uh, shooting victim was found in the warehouse near Route 10 last week. The police found out who he was. Last week reported on the shocking discovery of a corpse in the abandoned warehouse near Route 10. The body of a 40-year-old man was found lying on the floor of the main hall in the warehouse. The victim having been ruthlessly shot from close range. According to a source, half of the victim's face had been shot off, making him unrecognizable. Police concluded the victim's name was Jasper Prado, a known mercenary and ex-military man with no official place of residence. Police officers investigating Prado's case, Bart Fair and Hector Chadwick, refused to comment on the case. At this stage, it is still unknown if Prado was the only victim found on the scene. Ballistic analysis conclusion. Examination of both crime scenes, Brahms Grove kidnapping, Jasper Prado case. As well as collecting and analyzing the physical evidence related to weapons and ammunition during both criminal investigations, leads to the conclusion that the shooters use weapons produced by advanced defense strategy. Roger Dodger. Get the hell out of here. Appreciate your curiosity, Mr. Black, but I'm afraid you'll have to let this go for now. Okay. This place. Whoa. Again. Yes. Your mind is definitely throwing up some kind of link between this Jasper Prado and the explosion. I'm surprised it's this pronounced, though, as if something is bothering you. Who is Jasper? Comes from a working class family. Father was a truck driver. Mother worked in a pub. Bright kid in school, but quickly lost all interest in blank education. And started looking for fun elsewhere. Mostly partying at night clubs and smoking pot with friends. Uh, Jasper's past and connections. He was in the army in 94 to 96, then started work as a mercenary and drug dealer after being discharged. These days, he makes most of his money dealing hash, pot, and ecstasy, but still keeps in touch with old friends. Okay, too late. Well, let's go deeper!
Okay. Black. Hurry. For God's sake, hurry. Black. I'm trapped. You can stop this. My readings indicate that you've engaged with an earlier point in the memory. Black. We still don't know why you're here. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed. I'm sure. Be careful, Black. You're dealing with raw theory. Pay attention to the facts only. You risk imminent corruption if you continue this course. Fuck you, Red. I know why I'm here. What? Uh, Bart Fair, Jacob Singer. Our informer, Jared Porter, claims that the weapons he was arrested with were produced by ADS. He obtained them with the help of an ADS employee called J... Uh, J... something. Porter doesn't know this person's full name. Seems like Porter, a big name in the local arms trafficking business, worked in close cooperation with big and esteemed arms contractor. Yeah, I definitely heard gunshots. Well, I, I heard loud bangs. I guess they were gunshots, because the guy was shot, right? Anyway, I was out walking Cujo my dog at around 5 a.m my wife's a heavy sleeper and Cujo's always needing the shit in the morning so yeah sometimes we'll take him out for a walk so yeah I, I was walking down pump house lane and into the fields when the shots were fired sure thing mr mannequin Just wait a second. I'm exploring. Okay. I'm coming your way because there ain't nothing over here other than a waste of time. Right, jumping isn't a thing in this game. It's so weird to me. Jasper Prado sends of information, traffic, driving 15 miles per hour above the limit, forcible entry and detainer, class C drugs, class C drugs, traffic, class B drugs. Okay. Prado's car. Right. Hey Prado, what were you up to, man? What what were you doing? something down here. Nope, just okay. Fight. This. Case closed by Bart Fair and Hector Chadwick. Case closed. Detective Bart Fair is missing. 45-year-old Detective Bart Fair has been reported missing following a four-day period where he failed to report for work and his wife, Jenny Fair, was unable to contact him. The Chronicle was able to contact Fair's workmate, Hector Chadwick, who has taken unpaid leave in order to help find his friend. He's a great copper, Bart, but he always got far too involved with his work. Man should never put his career first, especially when he has a family. I'll find him. He'll be fine. Detective Fair was recipient of the Seven Severn Police Bravery Award in 2009, following his famous rugby tackle of a knife-wielding maniac at Birmingham Moor Street Station. Yeah. There's another one here I gotta look at. Oh, hello. Uh, something about sexy girls. I am. A, am I a psychopath? Okay. What's your problem? I won't tell you where I am. You need to back the fuck away now. This is out of your hands, and there's nothing you can do about it. So leave me the fuck alone and just let this run its course. Okay. Was that all of them? I don't hear any more Jaspers calling for me, so... OK. 
okay. I don't like when the music does this stuff. Black, I have been reviewing the data. Though you've been thorough in gathering evidence, your pursuit of supposition has sadly rendered this investigation useless. I'm pulling you out. No, Red, not yet. I'm so close. Oh, hello, Mr. Frog. Like I said, you began making assumptions. The Pandora is neutral, Black, and so must you be. Maybe you really were there to save Jasper. But the moment you assume that to be true, you corrupt the simulation, simulation and cast doubt over the memory. If you continue to do so, we will not be able to proceed. Maybe I don't want to proceed. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Black. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want answers. <sighs> a different approach this time, Black. Different how? I'd like to try starting... Before Prado was killed. You want me to try again? To save Jasper? I don't want you to try anything, Mr. Black. Everything is prepared for you. Just, Just relax and explore. Yeah, sure. Okay. Back to the asylum, where I probably won't make more poor decisions. And we can go back in time and change stuff, I suppose, if I wanted to. But I don't. Closing doors behind me, eh? Start from over here. Talked to Ben and Eric, and I thought I made it perfectly clear. The bad apple needs to be removed as soon as possible. We can't take the risk. Like I said on the phone, this is delicate. You work for me and you follow my orders. If you can't handle that, I'll find someone else. No mucking about. No, don't touch that. Dear Lieutenant Prado, it's my pleasure and privilege to express my appreciation for your contribution to the success of Operation Grapple. You and the other members of your division did an outstanding job of securing the forward position, setting up and establishing communications, and coordinating the movement of follow-on forces. Without your dedication to duty, Operation Grapple would not have been the success that it was. Congratulations on a job well done. Uh, he was Irish, RHD negative, a whole bunch of stuff that's not important really. This place is known as the Shell. Oh, the place is known as the Shell. It's an abandoned warehouse about half a mile from the gas station on Route 10. It's not a Shell station, probably never was. One local myth suggests it gets its name from the numerous shell casing found in the warehouse over the years. The place certainly looks like it's witnessed its fair share of killing. This is crime in the warehouse. Uh, it's the guy. Yep. Victim or culprit? What? 
Uh, what's this say? You read it? Yep. What you think? Ain't happy the guy's a snitch. Yeah? But I'm not sure about putting him in the ground. Well, if we don't, boss is gonna fucking kill us and his missus is gonna dance on our graves. I know. Come on, we do this together, mate. Get rid of the problem and forget it. Listen, it's me. You need to tell me where the fuck you are and what the fuck is going on. You got a lot to answer for, you know that. Call me back the second you get this or there'll be consequences. All right. Well, I'm out of time. So next time we'll go into this memory. Until then, everybody, take care.